So what does that look like on your plate? Well, this is just kind of a general schematic. It's not a, it's not a definitive, but more or less, this is what you should be looking, or uh, what it should look like. This is kind of what you should be thinking about here. You want to have your protein sources in there, your meats, your eggs, and then you want to have your vegetables. And always, and this is one of the things I'll spell a little bit later, but I always say that, you know, a lot of times we like to take vegetarians and, and kind of, you know, push their concepts aside because they tend to be a little bit of an extreme, uh, on the extreme end. The extreme end. However, there's some things that we can definitively learn from vegetarians. They got the concept of eating plants down pretty good. <coughs> well, that's a lot of what our diet should be too. So the reason I put this number two in here is that this should make up a pretty significant portion of your, of your intake. Um, of course, your fr uh, fruits, your nuts and seeds, and then your oils, and then herbs and spices. You know, some of the uh, most beneficial health uh, aspects uh, that we have in natural medicine actually come from herbs and spices. So the more you can incorporate those things into your diet, again, they're not manufactured, they're not synthetic. I mean, they're things that you could realistically find in nature. I mean, I'll think of rosemary. You could pick up a rosemary plant and you could chew on rosemary, right? I mean, it's something you can do. 